A while ago, I was doing some online reading. You know, just whiling away some time when I came across an article about a new Tesla Powerwall that was coming up. At first, I thought it was the Tesla Powerwall 3, but further reading proved me wrong. It was a new Powerwall 2 that was announced by Tesla CEO Elon Musk, and it's called the Tesla Powerwall 2 Plus. If you're a regular on this channel, then you can probably guess what I did next. I began to dig to find out all I could about the Tesla Powerwall 2 Plus and how exactly it is different from the original Tesla Powerwall 2. And of course, once I found out all there is to know, I had to create a video to let you guys know all there is to know about the new Powerwall 2 Plus. So, in today's video, we will be doing just that. Without wasting more time, let's get right into it. Powerwall 2 Let's start with the Powerwall 2. It was launched in 2016 and almost instantly it became the hottest new thing in the world of solar power. It is one of the most popular and best-selling energy storage systems. Everybody wanted to get a Tesla Powerwall, and I will admit that I wanted one too. I still want one. In the roughly five years since its release, the Powerwall 2 has not seen much of an upgrade and has remained relatively the same as it was when it was released. Powerwall 2 Plus Recently, Elon Musk revealed that production of the Powerwall 2 Plus started in November of last year. Nobody but Elon Musk can pull something like this off, and I think I kind of understand why he kept it under wraps. Given the popularity of the Powerwall 2, it goes without saying that announcing an upgrade would only come with a lot of pressure from the public. So keeping it under wraps until it is all but ready to roll out might have been the smart thing to do. He said, it's actually Powerwall 2 Plus, if you will. The plus refers to a higher peak power capability. So basically, all Powerwalls made since roughly November of last year have a lot more peak power capability than the specification on the website. They have about twice the power capability, roughly. Powerwall 2 peak and the steady Powerwall capability are better than advertised. Now that we have lots of operational data, Tesla can unlock higher capabilities for free via software update next month. Depending on production date, power increase power may be greater 50% at 30C ambient temp. Like it did with the use of Plus in the Model 3 Standard Range Plus, it appears as though Tesla is going with a naming theme to note the change in the power output capacity of the Powerwall 2 Plus. It's not exactly a new model, but it is an upgrade to the existing model. So they just slapped a plus at the end. I actually like this naming theme because it sort of tells you from the get-go what to expect. What should you expect from the Powerwall 2 Plus? The original Powerwall 2 has an energy capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours and a power of 7 kilowatts peak and 5 kilowatts continuous. It measures 45.3 inches by 29.6 inches by 5.75 inches and weighed roughly 251 pounds. So what can we expect from the Powerwall 2 Plus? Well, according to Elon Musk, the Powerwall 2 Plus will feature up to a 50% increase in power capacity. In my opinion, that is quite impressive. Musk's tweet implies that Tesla has been conducting some tests and have determined through analysis of gotten data that even older Powerwall 2s can give a higher power output than the current advertised 7 kilowatt peak 5 kilowatt continuous. However, while the power capacity will increase by 50%, the energy storage capacity still remains 13.5 kilowatt hours. The higher output will be unlocked through a software update that will be available to Powerwalls sometime between May and June of this year. In a recent interview, Musk referred to the increase in power capacity as being profound. He said that the increase in power was necessary because every single day, while the world moves steadily towards electric vehicles, and as a result of this, there is a constant increase in power needs. As such, it becomes necessary to improve the current power capacity of the power wall. He also said that the increase in power capacity serves Tesla's aspirations relating to the provision of grid services, which would come in very handy in dire situations of which a very good example is the blackout that happened in Texas in February of this year. However, 
It is still unclear how a bunch of Powerwall batteries would perform in such extreme weather conditions. Tesla states that when the weather is below freezing point, the Powerwall comes with a preconditioning feature that turns on to heat the battery to improve performance. I like to think of it as an inbuilt heater for the Powerwall. During the cold months of winter, a small amount of the Powerwall's battery capacity is reserved solely for this purpose. This means that during winter, the Powerwall isn't likely to work as well as it would during the summer or fall. According to Tesla, the best temperature for the Powerwall to function optimally is between negative 20 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. However, during the Texas blackout, temperatures went as low as negative 19 degrees Celsius in some places, so it is unclear how much the Powerwall would have helped. The Powerwall 2 Plus works better than the Powerwall 2, so I'm pretty sure that we can expect it to perform better than its predecessor in less than optimal weather conditions. When the upgrade eventually becomes available to everyone, we will know for a fact how much better it works. And if it holds up to its 50% increased power output, what else should you know? Also, Musk went into detail about Tesla's recent decision to only sell power walls with solar installations. He said, the difficulty of the installation will be much less. It will be much easier because the power from the solar roof, solar glass roof, or the solar panels will only ever go directly into the power wall. And the power wall will only ever go between the utility and the main power panel of the house. Which means you never need to touch the main circuit breakers of the house. He explained that this decision removes the requirement of an exceptional ability to rewire the main panel which is important for scalability. Musk furthermore revealed that the solar inverter, which was recently launched by Tesla, with an advertised 3.8 kilowatts and 7.6 kilowatt power output, has also been updated to be able to go as far as 10 kilowatt output. This made me wonder what exactly this new software is about. The differences in power output may seem minuscule, but in reality, they are quite significant indeed. I would give an arm and a leg to get my hands on the new software, just to figure out what it's about. Well, maybe not exactly an arm and a leg, but you know what I mean. I can't wait until the Powerwall 2 Plus rolls out, because I'm eager to see how well it performs. What do you think about the Tesla Powerwall 2 Plus? Would you ever get the upgrade when it becomes available? Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss new videos. See you in the next video.